Hey guys, this is the full uncut interview with SB737 that I showed a few clips of in my History of Hardcore Minecraft video. I had to do something to celebrate it hitting a million views. <laughs> also, let me know if you prefer this microphone or the one in the video, because, like, I don't know. Hi! Hey, how's it going? It's going good. How about you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm very good. Awesome. Okay, so... Do you think that you have the most days in your hardcore series, like, out of any YouTuber? Um, not even close, to be honest. Really? Um, I think I think the the one I know with the most days that's like, I mean, the mainly a streamer, but a YouTuber as well is um, Linksy. I think he. Oh, he interesting. Most, yeah, got it. The most. Um, I was uh, I watched your. I think it was on your second channel. You reacted to Jet's video, uh, the one about Minecraft getting boring, and you talked about how you don't really tend to enjoy it that much, like, you're playing in your world, unless it's a new update. So how do you, like, keep the motivation to do it? Yeah, some, sometimes it's it's tricky because you're, you know, you, you know that you want to make content that's interesting and cool for for viewers, um, and you want something that, that they want to watch. And I think if you, if you know that the viewers are going to enjoy it, even if it's a little bit, gets a little bit repetitive or boring for yourself, it, it can spur you on to still still do it. Mm, um, mm -hmm. But you know if it's starting to feel also stale for your viewers and if it's feeling a bit stale, stale for yourself, then it's hard. And that's when you've got to almost kind of try and take a step back and work out some some slightly different approach or or just, just think about something that you want to do in Minecraft that is interesting. Um, so for me, I just I tend to like breaking things and, and pushing the game to its limits. So yeah. sometimes it's just nice to try and step back and see what is going on in the community, what cool creations are there that, that can be done that's, that's kind of different and not just building something aesthetic and then move on to the next thing. Because that's kind of when I do get bored, when it's just mm -hmm. aesthetic things over and over again. Yeah. And the way you title it tends to be like not really standalone. Like there's a lot in one video. So do you, do you like... Yeah worry about like if something is clickable for youtube or is it just like is this fun to watch yeah because the for pretty much the period from from the start of the series till around i'd say four thousand days maybe four thousand five hundred days ish um the series just kind of carried itself where there was enough interest from the regular viewers where they would click on it because they were investing in the series that had been it would still be shown to enough new people it wouldn't it wasn't really shown to new viewers at a crazy amount but the viewers are already there kind of kept it going and, and, and the series was was fine um but yeah pretty much since like 4500 days 5000 days now it doesn't really get recommended to new viewers and the viewers that are watching it over time are losing interest because you know if you don't you know with anything you need kind of new viewers to, to mm. come and watch something and old ones will kind of move on to new stuff um so kind of the pool is just getting smaller and smaller with that series without really going to new ones so i am kind of trying to mix it up um but it's it's tricky because you don't want to also lose your current audience if that makes yeah. sense so it's, it's it's a bit of a balancing act really that definitely that actually kind of leads me into my next question because i've noticed you're doing the like friend or foe series are you afraid that, like, is it that you're, like, afraid you'll die in your world? Are you afraid, like, Minecraft hardcore is, like, declining? Or is it just, like, you just want to mix it up? Um, so do you mean that in, like, relation to friend or foe? Like, why? Yeah, because it seems like, I mean, I don't know, like, what's your motive for starting the series? And, like, having separate things from just your normal hardcore world? Yeah, just to do something different, really. Um, because if you're just kind of only hardcore and then that's not working as well as it used to be i you know wanted to try something different that i thought was fun and and it, and it, it was enjoyable because it was a different way to play the game with different people in a world um so it was nice um nice for me really mm -hmm. but it's it's not again that's been another one which hasn't really got pushed to new viewers like my current audience has kind of enjoyed it not as much as the hardcore it hasn't really got pushed to new viewers so um that's why I recently decided to move it onto my second channel because I don't want to keep, you know, having something where and I, I want something. I want videos where every single video is watched by my audience. Yeah. And 
with friend or foe and the hardcore, there was just n- not enough similarities really, where they they wanted to watch both, you know, of every video. So instead of ending up with kind of a split audience, I've kind of moved moved that across, and I'm kind of just in the process now of um, reevaluating hardcore again. And I think I think I'm going to try and do it the way that a lot of other hardcore YouTubers do do it at the moment, where they said I do this in Minecraft hardcore. Yeah, and I'm just going to try and do cool and interesting things um that yeah that are interesting to me and just try and make the video like a video that i am super proud of that has interested me um i think that tends just, to yeah show through to the viewers as well mm-hmm. if yeah, it's something you like works, making works going to it because i think there's not really any any of the youtuber i know that kind of just pumped out weekly 100 days videos for two and a half years um wow like I did, and yeah. like when it was working, it was good. But now it almost gets to the point where I kind of get to Friday, I finish recording it. My editor's been editing it throughout the week, and then I send him the last bits. He sends it back. I do the music, the like the Saturday morning, render it out, upload it, thumbnail, post it, and then I just start the next one. And almost like this, sometimes you just have to slow down and take a step back and try and work work out. Okay, well, where where do I need to go now? Um, because it's just it's not working the same. So that's I'm I'm kind of in that that phase right now. I'm in the uh, phase of taking the step back and and seeing what I can do. Really, do you think that shows like a wider trend with like the whole genre of hardcore? Like, do you think that it's kind of declining and that people need to switch it up, or is it just you? I think 100 days is declining. I think Minecraft over the past 12 months has declined and i think i think the way that people um watch content on youtube has changed a little bit as well i think i think with the whole shorts change i don't think it's really good for long form youtubers because Mm -hmm. with like with the shorts it's harder to build an audience if you're just posting shorts and you don't you don't really make much money from it you know you can make one 20 minute video that gets a million views or you could get like i don't know 100 million views in shorts or something to get the same kind of uh the same kind of earnings yeah. um so it's kind of it's not worth a youtuber's time to do shorts but i know for myself when i go on youtube i'll have a little scroll see if there's a video that interests me if there isn't i'll just scroll through shorts for like 20 minutes or whatever and then go off youtube and i think that's so i think the shorts do take away time that people might have spent watching long form content um so i think that's maybe had a slight effect i think i don't know with with hardcore i I do think that hardcore has kind of this year had it had like a little bit of a a resurge i know with some youtubers where it had dropped off for them a little bit um because you know the hardcore trend has been around for for a good while now and it kind of dropped off for a bit and then it has had a little bit of a, a resurgence um but most YouTubers, they seem to not get, like, hardcore YouTubers, they don't seem to get a lot of views early on the video from their audience. But it seems to kind of get recommended to a wider audience over time a bit yeah. more. Um, so that's what I think Interesting. is happening. So do you think that, like, as hardcore videos have been around a while, people get, like, a lot, I assume a lot of people are getting probably pretty tired of them. Do you think that will reflect on, like, them wanting, like... I don't know if, like, a lot of hardcore viewers play hardcore themselves. Honestly, they probably don't. But do you think that that leads to people getting tired of just the game mode in general? Yeah, just because everybody's everybody's kind of doing it and it's, it is the same thing yeah. over and over. I think, um, yeah, I think with the hardcore, it's, it's very difficult not to just do what everyone else has done. Um, because so many different ideas so it's the people who can come up with something or build something that no one's built that is cool as well that will still manage to to get the views and then it's the ones who kind of can't come up with something fresh or interesting that are struggling more you know i I think carved recently made a video where he built a working massive plane and that that was that was cool that that dropped tnt or wumba built a black hole or you know so like when it's kind of cool and it's something different, it it will still do well for views, um, but it's it's not it's never a guarantee, yeah. I suppose. And I think okay. it's um, yeah. I think 
I think it's it's kind of like the whole thing of you just got to kind of one up the next thing and eventually or one up the previous thing and then eventually you are going to run out of ways to to do it if you know what I mean I do think it's Mm -hmm. it's got a shelf life do you think it'll like in the future once it dies down even more come back with another cycle it could do I I think um I think with Minecraft a lot of it I, I like I think like hardcore and how well it's done is a lot related to Minecraft how that's doing in general I think it it's it's guaranteed when there's an update that there will be a resurgence and it depends sometimes what the update is and how interesting it is as to whether it does kind of research more or less like the the update we just had really is not being the biggest update and there was still a lot of a, a, a jump you know in like anyone that made sniffer related content or mm-hmm just any you know armor trims and stuff like those those two are the kind of the big things that interested people from this update and they were not massive features with a lot of content you could do with them generally speaking um and there's still a uh, a lot of interest in them i suppose so i think i think usually the resurgence is tied to either certain certain things happening where more people just play Minecraft in general for any reason, and a lot of the time the reason is because there's some cool update or something. It seemed like uh, during like when the Warden was coming out, that seemed like a lot of people were really excited because that was like a big update. So I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And even with like the cave update, they were um, they were so interested in the cave update because it was they've been asking it for ages, and it was massive caves and and really cool and. I think I think like since the aquatic update, that's when updates have started making people excited because the aquatic update's been great. Yeah. The village and pillage update was great. The bees update, nobody was that, that interested, but it was like a half a year update, so it wasn't too bad. Nether update was great, and then one point seventeen wasn't that interesting. One point eighteen was, one point nineteen with the warden was, and then one point twenty has just been a bit of a average one yeah. really. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, well, I think it depends on them really. Got it. I think that's kind of. All I had to ask, but I really, you know, that was very insightful. Uh, thank you for agreeing to the interview, man. No problem. I, uh, I enjoy talking about stuff like that, really. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So.